Dames y caballeros, today we're playing a little bit of salsa on our ukulele. We're doing three rhythms that get progressively harder, but this is definitely geared towards you intermediate players. If you like this kind of ukulele content, go ahead and hit subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a lesson. New ukulele tutorials every single Wednesday and Saturday. Everything from rhythm like this to theory to popular songs. Printable tabs, backing track for this tutorial by becoming a Patreon, link here in the notes. A link to this specific tab pinned in the first comment along with timestamps. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Pero si veniste solamente porque you want to learn a little bit of this salsa on the ukulele, that's cool with me. I dig it and I respect it. Go ahead and grab the ukulele, cerebro y atención. Y cuando tienen esas tres cositas, sigan me and let's go ahead and learn this together. Come on and let's do it. Three salsa rhythms, each one getting progressively more difficult. Let's go ahead and start with our first one. Now they're all intermediate. Our first one sounds like this. Okay, so we start off pointer finger on the third fret of the A string, ring finger on the fifth of the E. And I'm plucking them index finger on the E, middle on the A string, okay? Middle finger here on the fourth fret of the C, and my thumb is responsible for that one. So one and two and. One and two and three and four and. So after I pluck these two, then hit the fourth fret of the C. I'm gonna take my index finger, cover these three, and I'm gonna remove my ming finger, uh, middle finger here. So now it's three, five, three. So I go one and two and three and four and. And I'm gonna hit that one, doot doot, because you can see the second measure and the fourth measure have something on the first beat. So we get one and two and three and four and one. Then it's two and and one, two and three and four and. So here it's an E minor seven, but the bass is playing the E, so I'm actually just gonna make a G shape. If you have a G chord here like this, but the bass is playing the E note, then it actually sounds like an E minor seven. So I'm gonna go over and on the four and, I'm gonna play the second fret of the C string, and then I'm gonna play one and, two and, three and, four and, one. And it's that same rhythm as the first measure, I'm using these two fingers here, one and, two and, three and, four and, one. And just slide that index finger over to the first fret. Four and, one, two and. Second beat of the fourth rhythm, pluck them both, and go down to the fourth fret again. Rest on the one, two, three, remove your index finger, and. So we get just that, well, four and one, two and three and four and. Okay, and use that open and to get back to the start of this. So this whole four measures really slow. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. And you get back to the start. So let's try to play it two times in a row. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, and that is our first circle. Now I'm gonna play it with some drums it's at 120 beats per minute, so it's gonna be pretty quick, okay? I'm gonna give you Patreons. I'm also gonna give you 80 beats per minute with just the piano roll, so you can play along with the MIDI at slower pace. 
This is going to be a little quick. So if you can't get it right away, you should really take time getting all these tabs under your fingers for the muscle memory. Get confident with them first and then try to come back and play along with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the drums on and play along with the drums. Our second circle is a little different. It sounds like this. It's also really cool, all right? So we start off three and five again. And it's that same rhythm. One and two and three and four and. Well, four and one. So you're gonna play three and five. And then take this G shape but up here, six, seven, six. So you go one and two and three and. Sixth fret here, and then you're gonna pluck seventh of the E and sixth of the A. Then make an E minor, four, four, three, two. Cause you're gonna go four and one, two and. Again, similar rhythm, right? You pluck that four two times, four and one, two and two and this is the start of the second measure four and one two and three and four and you're going to come down and this is going to be like an a7 c sharp and a a note here so you're going to plug these two together fourth fret fifth fret and you need to come with your index finger and play the second fret of the C. This comes from a D minor, but you're just gonna play this, right? You're gonna just play this, and then you're gonna grab one and. Up to a G, two, so from this A7 A shape, four and five, come up, grab the second fret, one, and two and well get in the g shape one and two and three and four and one just remove your index finger play open two times open open then open e second fret then you're just gonna go four six and work your way up the fret take this thing really really slow we're gonna count it out together but just even before you even counting it, just, you know, get your fingers where you can get the muscle memory and you know where you're going, all right? Because your fingers are all over the fretboard. Goes one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and all right let's try to play it two times in a row nice and slow i'm gonna count us in but i'm not gonna count it here we go one two three four one and
really, really cool. That is our second rhythm. We're going to try it here with the drums at 120 beats per minute. Make sure you have this under your fingers before you even try this. Again, you Patreons, you also have this at a loop at 80 beats per minute. Practice them, you know, in order and build up your confidence. All right, so here we go. You got this. Okay, so here goes the third one. This one's super dissonant. It starts off three and five, six. And then we have this dissonant roll right here that goes seven, eight. But then you're gonna go down, make your E minor and go four, three, two, four. So here we have a little more constant rolls. Some actually, you some of you might find this a little easier because we're hitting so many eighth notes in a row. There's a little less syncopation. So we go three, five. Then play six, seven, eight, nine. Get your fingers in place. And then get down to four, three, and then you play that two times. So then after that, you're gonna do that four, five move again from the last one, and then two. So the first two measures really slow. You get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay and then we're going to make a one two and we go three two oh 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 it's the same exact rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the second two measures. So all four of these nice and slow. One and two and three and four and and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a little faster i'll count us in but then we're just going to play it one two three four one and And that's the third one. You know the drill. Time to put it to the drums. Get it under those fingers first. All right, let's break it down.
gentlemen, thank you so much for watching to the very end of the tutorial. 10 Thumbs Productions, we appreciate you for learning with us. Keep on rocking and rolling. Have a lovely day. Appreciate the lovely sun, salsa music, and dance like there's no tomorrow. You can't put baby in a corner. Can't put baby in a corner. I've actually never seen Dirty Dancing, and I'm not even quite sure that's the line. Um, and there's also the one with Kevin Bacon and then the one with uh, the, what's the other guy's name? Salsa, play it with your friends, play it with the backing track, play it with the drums, but most importantly, go out and get a, a record from Hector Lavoe. Listen, consume, and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful music. Ruben Blades would be another one to listen to. Joe Cuba, there's a lot of great uh, salsa singers. It's a, it's a great music. Go with the old stuff, the brava. The new stuff, the romantica is not quite as good. That's just my personal opinion. Do you, experiment, listen to them all, make your own educated opinion. All right, until next time, have a lovely day. Rock and roll.